here is a problem where once again it's asking us for grams of water and it's told that we're starting with 3.44 liters of oxygen gas but it doesn't give us that balanced chemical reaction and so know that on the EOC on your final you'll typically be given that reaction but let's kind of push our brains here just a little bit it tells us that we are getting water made and so we know that <laughs> this is going to be just a single simple composition reaction where we have hydrogen which is diatomic plus oxygen which is diatomic forming water and the next thing we'll look at would be balancing out your reaction over here we see two oxygens so we're going to add a coefficient of two in front of the water molecule and now we have four hydrogens which means we need to add a coefficient of two in front of the hydrogen now let's write down what we're starting with 3.44 liters of O2 and then it's asking us how many grams of water could be produced if that's how much oxygen you're starting with. And note here that at STP, what does that mean? That means that one mole of any gas at STP takes up 22.4 liters of space, which we've mentioned now several times. We're going to start this like any other dimensional analysis problem. I want you to pause here and see if you can do this by yourself. Let's go ahead and drop down liters of oxygen and then think about what we know. We know that 22.4 liters of oxygen represents one mole of oxygen. We're trying to get rid of moles of O2, and which means we're going to have to drop it down. Hit the pause button right now and see if you can figure out what to do next. We're trying to get to grams of water, but we're currently at O2. So this is where we're going to go ahead and transition using a mole ratio to moles of water. And now we're going to look up there at our coefficients. We see a coefficient of two in front of the water, a coefficient of one in front of the oxygen. And last step will be here to drop down one mole of H2O. And then think to yourself, how much does one mole of water weigh? It weighs 18 grams. We know that hydrogen weighs one, but there's two of them, so that's two. Oxygen is 16, giving us a total of 18. Go ahead and put that into your calculator, please. And we are going to end up with 5.53 grams of water. So not very much water there, okay? Remember, drop the units down, get everything to cancel out.